right, hello wine drinking people. Today is Wednesday, September 29th. And we've got um, a couple events coming up this week. Tomorrow's pretty much sold out with the Mozzie Brothers and the cooking class, both at one night. I don't know how the Banfi dinner's doing at Mancini's, but uh, you can call and check them directly with that one. And I've got a few seats left for our Spanish event on Friday. Check out the lineup online. But what have we got to sell you today? All right, well, as you can see, got Camus, baby. And what is the number one wine all time, according to the Wine Spectator? When you look at the 29 vintages of Camus Special Selection that have been made since 1975, it scored an average of 92 points. That is higher than Chateau Mouton Rothschild, any of the five first gross, any other wine in the world. Yes, folks, that's right. According to the publication based out of San Francisco, this is the number one wine in the world today, Camus Special Select. And this is one time where I would say, I don't know if I'm going to argue with you here. You know, we've had the luxury of tasting some of these old wines that were made by Randy Dunn up until 1985. And the style has changed dramatically since then. Uh, these wines are 15, 15 and a half percent alcohol today, which um, everybody's picking the grapes riper. Uh, they, they have, they're worried about the phenolics in the skins and the seeds, making sure those are ripe. And in California, the conditions are different than they are in Bordeaux. And hey, a lot of Bordeaux today are over 14% alcohol. What does that do? That helps the wine drink much better young when you pick it very ripe like that, very forward, very appealing, very fruity. One of the things that Camus and the Special Select have become known for this decade is their approachability. And they're releasing these wines very, very young. A lot of people are still releasing 07s. Some people 06s. Camus Special Select 08, folks. Here we go, the first of the big boys of Napa Valley to come out from the 08 vintage. And this is a vintage that's going to be overshadowed by 2007 because 2007, a killer vintage, came a special select, 96 points from the Wine Speculator in 06. It hasn't been rated yet, this 08, but I can tell you I had some 08s while I was out there in February uh, for the barrel auction and uh, some very impressive stuff from 08 from Napa Valley. So... Check it out, and hey, guess what? We've got all the rest of the wines from Camus. We've been on the bandwagon from day one with Conundrum. This wine no longer carries the Camus moniker, and neither does any of the other wines, so you may not know that Belglos is Camus, or Marisolet is Camus. That's the wine that came up along after Conundrum. This wine is a blend of five varietals, focusing on Sauvignon Blanc and Chardonnay, but has a little Viognier and some other stuff in there, Muscat. A uh, really unique wine. When people ask me, what can you compare to Conundrum? I say there is nothing to compare. There's nothing like it. Uh, it's been wildly successful. Just a touch of sweetness, and we love the screw-on cap. And then the Marisolet, which you do not see pictured here. Um, sorry, we're, we're out of Marisolet at the moment. But the 2007 is available, an outstanding vintage for Chardonnay. That's from the Santa Lucia Highlands. And then we've got the Belle Glos label of Pinot Noirs. So we got a very special price on the Mayomi, uh, the entry-level wine there. And then we have the Gambit Series wine here, even. This is an experimental wine that uh, young Charles made, Wagner made, uh, without the use of sulfides. And, um, you know, I had one of these couple months ago and I want to say maybe we should stick to keeping the sulfides in the wine but I don't know I'm going to try another one just to see it seed like it was fading just a little bit maybe oxidizing that is one of the dangers of not adding a little sulfur uh, at the end when you bottle the wine but like I said I'm going to check out another bottle check everything else uh, out from Camus and all the other wineries that Camus the Wagner family owns I'm your host Andrew Lampazone for the Wine Watch signing off saying remember always drink the good stuff first